Hey there gang, welcome back to the big board and welcome to the very first battle uh, that we'll be playing on either the Iran or uh, Samurai maps to reflect the combat that is occurring and the battles that are occurring over there, yes, over on a most dangerous time. And so this is the first trial battle that I've concocted and we've taken each uh, army counter from a most dangerous time which is between uh, a thousand and two thousand troops and we've called them all basically a thousand. I want to try and keep the battles manageable uh, since I'm very new to the run system and uh, so we are then allocating, I went through and looked at all the different samurai, samurai, uh, samurai, look at me, I'm lost. I went through the two scenario books for the two titles and I looked at the force compositions in all of the battles. And I uh, got a fair estimate on the number of cavalry forces, wherever they are here, in each uh, uh, battle. And the, uh, the various uh, weapon types, the Tepo armed units, which are different in both titles, but that's okay. And then whether or not there were Samurai. Or Samurai, I should say. I don't know why I'm focusing on that word, but nevertheless. Uh, and I've added in uh, samurai counters from Ran for this battle. And uh, each clan, the Asai clan and the Oda clan, uh, they have very disparate sized forces because that's the size of the forces over here on a most dangerous time. So I then looked at the terrain uh, that for the given region on Google Maps and try to get a feel for uh, whether it was, you know, mountainous or not, or open plains. And of course, a lot of Japan back in the day was going to be uh, tree covered and uh, mountainous and whatnot. Now, o Odani uh, Castle is in fact in a fairly steep area. So we just chose this map as a, an opportune uh, map to use. The lakes are not, or ponds are not there. It's a clear terrain there. And we're just going to fight this battle out and see what happens, assuming that the Oda camp is here and uh, that um, uh, Nagama, uh, Nagamasa, I think that's what his name is. Let me just check him over here. Where is he? <clears throat> Where did he go? That's right. Nagamasa is uh, making his famous last foray uh, from the castle to attack the Oda camp, knowing that it was probably most certain doom for him. Um... Nevertheless, we're going to have this. So we're going to have this sort of meeting engagement slash surprise attack. No special rules for the combat. Very straightforward, and this will give me an opportunity to get a feel for uh, the run rules and how they work across both systems, and uh, see if there's any adjustments we need to make. The route point levels are simply taken by taking uh, the total route point uh, troop quality values here and here. And giving them both, in this case, I, get, I think I gave them both 40% of the route point value. Uh, probably would have gone a little higher with uh, the Asai clan, mainly because, uh, you know, it's kind of that uh, do or die, nothing to lose situation. So we could assume that they're not going to route and run back to the castle. So maybe 45% would have been better, and maybe 35 or 40 for these guys, but uh, Oda's uh, forces were. Uh, particularly well disciplined and then uh, we'll see what happens so that's kind of that's a little preamble for you and that's the first battle that's probably how I'm going to run these going forward I'm typically going to use uh, about 40% of the forces uh, going to be uh, you know the pole uh, pole armed I forget what they're called now I should go all right or something like that uh, pole armed and bow armed uh, forces and we will kind of take things from there. Uh, and I elected to with the cavalry. If you're a daimyo, you're going to have a minimum of uh, two cavalry. And if you're a uh, samurai leader, uh, then you're going to have at least one cavalry, and then possibly two, depending on the size of the army. So it, it all kind of worked out. Ten percent samurai thereabouts, and uh, tempo uh, tempo varied the most uh, depending on the year of the battle. Uh, it got as high as forty odd percent. And then, of course, there's always blended forces as well. So that's where I think 
using the Ran counters in future, even though the, the clan names may be different, might make more sense and we can just bring the appropriate leaders in for them. Um, there's a few little things we need to manage in terms of the Bushos being in control of which contingents. So I have two contingent types here, but uh, they're all being managed by, um, by this Busho here. Uh, and we, of course, we have our two samurai that I've picked from a cup. We've uh, allowed each army to have uh, one samurai each, and they will uh, go at it in personal combat if uh, that opportunity arises. All right, talk to you soon.